Hello Raindrops and welcome to 24K Movies, Reviews, TV Shows, and Video Games. <clears throat> we have to put the ring of power on because it's always on us. So if you could not guess, we are talking about the latest Walking Dead spinoff. And I said this a thousand times before and I'll say it again. This is going to be a brutal, honest review. It may step on some toes, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's just jump right into this. Phone call. Oh, hello. Who is it? It's the same fucking series. I thought it ended. No? Okay, so this has got to be different, right? Same thing? What? Uh, smeg. Alright. Yeah. You could not have guessed. It's a rinse and repeat. Here we are again. Slightly better than Dead City, the Negan and Maggie spinoff. And in between the Rick and Michonne spinoff. Look. We listened to the own staff and directors speak about this, that when they saw The Last of Us come out, they were shocked because they were 90% finished their series, and it's the exact plot line from The Last of Us. Adult, child, child is a cure, go out in the world, protect them against these evil dead things, evil people. Now... At its heart, if we had not seen The Last of Us, this would still be a, a, a representation of what The Walking Dead has been. It's the same story. I don't know how many times you could tell the same story. This is 20 years later, after the apocalypse. Nothing that I have against Norman Reedus. I, he is Daryl. He's phenomenal. But the chemistry and the storyline is fucking exact. Verbatim, if you lay this on top of The Walking Dead, it's the same. Here's this guy who wakes up, or in Daryl's case, washes up. He's by himself. He starts roaming around. Everything is dead, just like Rick did. He even walks through like a, a, a city scene where it's exactly remnant of Rick walking into Atlanta. Like, it, it's, oh my god, it's verbatim it's the same shit over and over again and I hate the fact that they're ruining Daryl in this type of series he goes along now this is another thing that pisses me off and I'm sorry I have to say it. this is another thing that pissed me off Daryl has been surviving through the apocalypse he was our day one he was the strongest one he had the survival instincts and I don't give a damn how many t how much years have passed you don't get weaker in a world like this you get stronger or you're dead so the fact that Daryl was stupid enough to put his guard down for a lady and a man who claims that he was blind and gets blindsided fucking hell it's Daryl it's not like a random character it's Daryl we know what he's capable of. We've seen what he's capable of. Give me a fucking break. Anyway, so apparently he was sent on a ship in the 11th season to be taken somewhere. Some shit happened. He ended up getting off the ship or falling off the ship into a boat and he floated up and here we are. He's in Paris. So the story, I'm not going to be uh, a verbatim going forward, but the storyline, I understand you want to show the new sets and the new places all across the world, but you don't have to concentrate on the rinse and repeat of your same storylines. Like, from the moment that the directors and the people were talking about this mirroring The Last of Us, we know what we're in for. I mean, you can watch it and go through the motions. But I get tired of seeing the same thing over and over again. Here we are. It's a new place. Oh, here's some people. They're kind of bad. Here's some people. They're kind of good. All right. 
we're in a good place. Everything is great. Let's eat some dinner rolls. Oh, wait, there's a bad guy, an evil bad guy. Okay, he's the asshole of this series. Okay, what happens? Does he get killed? No, because he's the antagonist of the series. Oh, not him, but the boss he works for. There's another antagonist, and there's another organization, and another organization. Here's the thing. If you have that much ability to make an organization in the middle of the end of the world in the apocalypse, why the fuck aren't you pooling your resources to stay alive? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. The French invented this disease. I, I don't know. I <sighs> Look. I love The Last of Us. I love Daryl. I hate the fact that he's being used this way. I mean, they're just going to milk this shit to death for all it's worth. And I, and I don't like it. I don't like it. The new scenes, if this would have been run, you could have done this at the beginning of The Walking Dead. You could have had separate stories take place all at the same time. Not spinoff after spinoff after spinoff after spinoff. Because, to my knowledge, there was... Hold up. So you have Walking Dead... Um, Fear the Walking Dead. Um, you had that uh, webisode series. You had the airplane series. You had that whack ass series with the kids. You had that other whack ass series with the people. You had the uh, whack ass series with the uh, different episodes, and each episode was a different story. I don't know what the fuck that was. You had the other series where I, I don't. I don't even know if you can call that. Walking Dead, I mean, would that be considered The Walking Dead? I don't know. And now you have Dead City, Daryl Dixon, and Rick and Michonne. How do you take one of the best series? on television in the world and fuck it up I would love to give this series better than Dead City I can give it better than Dead City I'm just at a loss for words. Like, you told people so much about these spinoffs. The Rick Walking Dead movie that was supposed to come to pass, which I guess never did. I don't know what happened during that. You're just spread so fucking thin over a monopoly of enterprises. You have the ability you had the ability to capture this market and be like the Marvel Universe cinematic universe you could have been the Walking Dead cinematic universe but you figured people would be the crowd draws if you pick one of the main characters after your series ended you picked one of your main characters to put in each spinoff to make it run and that's the crowd draw people love Daryl they'll watch this People love Maggie and Negan, they'll watch this. People love Michonne and Rick, they'll watch this. People love Morgan, they'll watch this. Except for the fact you killed all off your most important and likable and series carrying characters. Look, Daryl Dixon wasn't in the comic books the graphic novels this is something you guys created and you built off you did fuck all with him after season 6 fuck all you turned him into a joke the strongest most potent virile character you have I 
Look, I just finished watching this episode, and other than just a filler of time, it's the same shit. I could see everything coming a mile away. Every single last thing coming a mile away. The only thing you did is you changed the different walker styles. It's the same story, rinsed, washed, and repeated, just with different characters, and now different zombies. Oh, these ones are acid ones. We call them burners. They're fucking zombies. And you have something against calling them zombies? Eleven friggin' spinoffs? And nobody wants to fucking call them zombies? Hmm, let's look up in a dictionary. What is the word zombie? A dead body coming back to life. Stalking the living. Hey, that's what these things are. But no, they're walkers. Burners. Rotters. You haven't even used the word living dead. We used the word walking dead one time in your whole entire series. I'm just angry that this show ended up being this. And here we are, another spinoff. And it's going to be the same thing as Wrench, Wash, and Repeat. We just went through the whole Negan and Maggie thing. Same thing. You know what? I'm going to have to say, in the Walking Dead universe, they're in hell. Everybody is dead and they're in hell. Because everybody they come across is an asshole from the pit of hell who amassed a huge calling and following and they just have godlike powers in this universe. It's funny. It's funny. No military survived, you know, no sur urban survivalist, no people who have like stuff buried. The closest I could see to being a realistic thing was Fear of the Walking Dead because it started at the beginning, it brought you into the universe, and then it brought you through the universe. It had a lot of realism in it, but then you killed off Nick. You, ki you killed off your main characters at the same time as you killed off your main characters in a Walking Dead series. And that was a big fucking mistake. But I could still go another season and then you did the melting down of the nuclear power plants because there's nobody to watch them which is realistic because if there's nobody there to maintain them yes it would happen <clears throat> after that you didn't know where to go oh so we are gonna have this happen and then we're gonna have that happen and then we're gonna bring back her cuz Madison is still alive no she fucking died in a she died in a stadium ah ooh ooh look guys Guys, guys, guys. I love what you're trying to do. But in a time where everybody knows the genre, everybody knows the subject material, everybody gets it, you can hit the ground running and knock the shit out of the park. I don't get why you can't do it. Why do you take the same storyline that you've done over and over and over and over and over till you can puke coat hangers? I, I don't get it. We had enough with the governor storyline. You've done the governor storyline a thousand different times. Whether it was in Terminus, whether it was in Woodbury, whether it was Negan, whether it was the, like you keep everywhere you go. There's an evil person. There's never a great person. It's always an evil person controlling shit, looking to rape, murder, and pillage and destroy anything left. And I get it. There would be assholes left. There would be tons probably of assholes left because evil never dies. I get it. Hands down. I get it. You introduce a convent full of nuns to murder all the nuns. What was the point? To show innocence being murdered. You've done that in every single last community that these people have come across. Every single last one. Wash, rinse, repeat. And you know what? At this point, you guys are just trying to get money. There's no love in this. Daryl is one of your biggest characters. Matter of fact, there was uh, uh, the Walking Dead game uh, Survival Instinct, which was Merle and Daryl's storyline. Why didn't you go back and do that? A prequel. It doesn't stop you from doing this. You could have done a prequel. Tell Daryl's backstory. Tell Merle's backstory. Bring back some of your main popular characters and put them in there. You can do that. But no, we're going for this shit again. The same storyline, just in a different place. The same evil big bads, 
just in a different place. And Daryl, who survived 20 years of a zombie apocalypse, all these people should be seasoned by now. I'm not buying the bullshit with the, uh, the dead city thing that Maggie can't take care of zombies by herself and she doesn't know what to do. I can't take it that Daryl is still dumb when he was the smartest character from day one. Smartest character. Strongest character. He didn't... He wouldn't have fell for this bullshit. And now, alright, I'll take the kid who's referred to as the cure. <clears throat> and once again, now, here we have this convent. They're so smart, they're so strong, yet they're keeping zombies alive. Didn't we see that before? Hmm. Didn't the governor keep his daughter title? I believe so. Hey, that seems familiar. Daryl, walking along by himself, first people he come across, seem nice, try to help him. Where have we seen that before? Oh, The Walking Dead. We saw that in The Walking Dead. They're betrayed by somebody and have to end up fighting. Didn't Rick have to fight Merle and tie him up to a roof? And that came back to haunt him. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't that happen with Daryl killing these two random nobodies who just happens to be the brother of the big asshole? Who, oh my God, we've seen this. Oh. Didn't happen. I'm going to do the Ross thing from Friends. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Hey, step into my office, writers. Why? Because you're fucking fired. Look. I would love to say, I want to see where this series is going. It could be great. But the writers, the directors, and the people have already got ahead of the damage control and said their storyline verbatim mirrors the last of us they said as they were finishing their series they saw the last of us but it was too late they were already invested and there's nothing they could do so they did damage control so we know what we're going to see we know what we're going through we know what this is going to be and it's shaping up to be it but with one tiny smidgen well, it's not tiny. It's fucking gigantic, actually. This is not The Last of Us. You don't have the ability to build these new characters that most people didn't know if they didn't play the game. And this wasn't a game. The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. Daryl and Merle storyline. You wanted a Daryl series. It was there for you. How about the Walking Dead Telltale storyline with Lee and Clementine? Can we get a fucking Clementine series? That was fucking amazing. They even came across the actual Walking Dead characters. Can we get that series made in real life? No. Why? Makes too much sense. Would be a great series. Oh, can't do that. You guys have tons of shit embedded into your Walking Dead universe that you can use to make a great series. Original. This is not original. Dead City is not original. Matter of fact, if you want to go back to the whole city element and the dead and the people living in the gigantic city, there was a, a, a return. Was it Return Living Dead? No. It was one of the recent Romero movies with John Leguizamo and a city with Dennis Hopper and it was a dead city and the zombies were smarter do you see where I'm going with this like you guys have everything of zombie genre at your disposal and this is where you go this is where you go your telltale series millions of dollars people love the story they rave about the story why can't you do an original Walking Dead story with Lee and Clementine? You know how many people will be glued to your seats again in the Walking Dead universe? They did a Michonne series in the games. 
a prequel showing what happened to Michonne and how she got there. Do you see how people were interested in those those characters? You don't always have to do the next chapter. It's been 20 years. If the world is not back on track, it's not going to get on track. It's done. One Romero, two Romero, three Romeros, four. He's Romero, you're Romero, no Romeros, no more. Get it? So, from the Walking Dead universe, this was Daryl Dixon. And as we went through this first episode, I saw hints and gleams of what they could have done, where they could have gone. But of course, they chose the safe route, the safe alternative, and then they give you a, here's what to expect on this season, like they did with Dead City. And I'm fucking let down. I hate to say it. I would never want to say with a Norman Reedus series entitled Daryl Dixon, I would be let down, but I am. Daryl in Paris. Earl in England. You literally have stories deep enriched in your characters that you could have done. Everybody does prequels. We're in the world of prequelitis. Why won't you do a prequel here? Oh, you want to pay those original characters that you fired more money? So then don't use them. You own the intellectual properties of the name and it as earlier characters, so you don't have, you can find somebody that kind of looks like that person and make it. Except for this, you can do Norman, Norman Reedus' series. You can have him shave, cut the hair, and do Survival Instinct. Show us the story of where Daryl came from, him and Merle, how he got to this point. You can do that. Hell, these, these new spinoff series are only six episodes. Six. The Telltale Games only have five episodes. Each series. You can do it. But, like I said, I digress. Um, I want to hold off giving this a rating until we get completely through it, but I don't even know if I want to get completely through it. To be totally honest, the same thing happened with uh, Walking Dead, Dead City. I, I started watching the episodes, and then I got fucking bored to death, and then I was just like, it's the rinse and repeat over again. Like, you can see what's coming. Like, there was no mystery or intrigue in this entire episode because everything we saw, we saw before. You can see it coming. There's no hidden agenda. And then a the woman walks onto the boat. Bum, bum, bum. Here's the big bad. Oh, what did you do? And I did this. And he escaped. And his name was Dixon. Okay, so let me get this straight. Your entire empire that you're running, whatever you're doing, this one weak American fell off the boat into the ocean. He's still alive. We have to go after him. It started. Forced subject matter will never come across as intelligent. It will always be empty rhetoric. The only reason why anybody will watch this is because it's on TV and it's something to watch. If you're looking for those Walking Dead ratings, season 1, 2, 3, and 4, if you're looking for those ratings that intrigued the world on your series, that had everybody tuning in Sunday having watch parties, this is not going to do it. You need to be more original. You need to think outside that motherfucking box, and you need to get off your asses and stop rinsing and repeat with these lazy storylines that have been done and done and done till you can puke coat hangers. You need something new, original. This is not original. This is a different place within the same fucking story with the same storyline running over and over and over and over and over again. Stop doing this. The funny part is, I keep holding out hope. Every time they announce one of your new little spinoff shows, I'm like, maybe they got it. Maybe they learn. And then I watch it, and I'm let down. I, I, 
don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Right now, this series to me, it's a penny. Here at the rating, we go by metals. This is a penny. This is copper rating. And that's being generous. Honestly, that's being generous. If you, if, uh, I'm going to stop beating this up because uh, I want to be invested. You guys, you guys just blew your fucking opportunities. I think you should have let The Walking Dead die with the original series. When it ended, you should have let it die. Because you weren't really ready to end. So for all that much, this Daryl Dixon, this Rick and Michonne, this uh, Negan and Maggie, just make it Walking Dead Season 12, Walking Dead Season 13, Walking Dead Season 14. Just have it go. But no, you don't want to pay all those original cast characters. I get it. But this is the same shit. It's just continuing. So The Walking Dead didn't end. That was a ploy and a bullshit strategy. This is the same shit that you saw then, that you're seeing now, and that you will see in the coming episodes. Different characters, different places, same fucking story. The very definition of SSDD. Same shit, different day. Here in the game dojo, I am sorry Norman Reedus, um, you make your money boo boo, you enjoy your intellectual properties, you do what you need to do to get paid, I salute it, I'm for it, brother, handle your own, but if I want more story between Daryl and The Walking Dead, I'm going to go replay Survival Instinct, Walking Dead Survival Instinct, great fucking game, you need to go and play it. And it's on pretty much every system. Xbox, PlayStation, PC. Hell, it's on Nintendo Switch. That's right. From the Game Dojo, this is 24K Movies and Reviews and TV Show saying, another letdown with another Walking Dead series. I think I'm just going to cash in my chips when the Rick and Michonne series come out because I, I want to say at least I was there to watch the first episode of these new endeavors but I cashed in my chips a long time ago when Coral died Coral! Coral! I cashed in my chips when you decided to take the main greatest links and characters you had and storylines and fucking throw them into jello grind it up and just kick them out because I don't need you. I can do this myself. Wrong, 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 wrong. Walking Dead Daryl Dixon. Go and watch it if you have time. If not, you ain't missing much. Wait for it to finish. Binge watch it. Be let down with a meal. Not with just one episode. I'm out of here. I got nothing else to say.